Hi everyone, uh, I'm just going to go through and um, do a quick how to um, install and configure this latest uh, AMP Droid 1.0 preview release. Um, I just figured um, there's a couple of a lot of questions there, and um, I'm just going to go through exactly what I did, and uh, it seemed to work for me. So, obviously, um, get onto the forum here. The first thing to do is download this MP extended service and uh, the latest one is 0.4.2 so if you click that it'll take you to the web page and um, go direct download and then click here to download that's pretty much it save that so I've already done that um, thanks that's part one the other part obviously is to um, install .NET which you can download there and this Wi-Fi remote this is important <coughs> um, and as it says here uh, until then until for now uh, just replace this DLL with the current DLL and um, that's easy enough to do just normally just do a search um, let's do a search for all files I can't remember exactly where it is so I'll just type it in now Wi-Fi. I've done it before, so we just do a search, so we can go through it. And so, so while that's running, um, it's important not to actually use this alpha one. The one to use okay. is I'll just download the one to actually use is go back to the preview here. Uh, the sorry, the um, the forum here, and go into this. Uh, chat here. There's um, an Alpha 4, which is a lot more stable, um, and the link is on here. So if <coughs> you go through here, and it's this link here, which uh, Debugger here has put on. So just save that, um, and that's the uh, APK for Android itself. So either the phone or tablet. So that's this is the one to use the Alpha Four. Don't use the um, the original Alpha One, and obviously save that one. Save Winrar, which I've already saved. So so here it is. This is the um, we found it. This is the bring info. So this is where you save the DLL file, and this is important to do because initially I forgot to do this and um, the Wi-Fi remote didn't work so basically I just renamed the original one so, and this is the new one which is the 0 0.5.0 so that's pretty much it for that one so it's important to to use that one and that's the path as you can see so obviously I'm using XP uh, service pack 3 so it's under program files team media portal media portal plugins and process and that's pretty where you put the Wi-Fi remote, the new one. So, cool. All right. So with all that downloaded, um, go and install the. Um, this is the 0.2. So I'm just going to go and actually install that. As you can probably see down here, I'm already got it running. So I'm just going to exit out of it. And because I think I'm running on currently, it's running the old one. So I'll run this. It's pretty straightforward. Um, this is a single seat setup. Click single seat. Um, <coughs> you can read it and go go yes, and then install. So this should just install over my current one, which is um, 0.41. All right, so just leave the start tray. Well, I do anyway. So that's um, that installed. So this is the configuration. Um, I've actually found it <coughs> uh, fine to leave everything as default. Obviously, um, I don't 
have a it's not running on a network drive so I don't need that but um, all of this seems to default to the right place um, which is pretty cool so you, you've, you've got the moving pictures uh, TV series but you know if it's not you can go and change it but for me everything seemed, everything was stock standard I don't use any of that but you can basically go through and <coughs> um, um, configure everything yourself here it's pretty self-explanatory um, so QR is cool I mean you know you can just scan that it makes it easier so just go through that um, and if one of the important things is here you can control the stop start from here so that's pretty much uh, straightforward that's installed you can see it's running down the, the bottom here so the next thing to do is then oops sorry um, obviously go and install this on your phone or tablet or whatever I've already done that and that is um, pretty much it so <clears throat> one of the other things I'm going to run through very quickly is um, if you go into on XP document settings all users application data the MP media pool extended here if you edit this or open to edit um, you can change the path of the uh, logos so or, or correct it or wherever you know depending on where you've put it so um, that's the path if you if you want to change it so that the logos will actually show up on the phone or the Android device so that's just another tip there all right now so um, the best thing to do now is um, I'm just going to stop and restart it just in case So there you go, so it started. And uh, basically now you just uh, log on with your um, device. And um, I'll have uh, another video showing that shortly. Okay, so um, uh, this is my Acer Iconia A100 tablet. It's a 7 inch um, Integra 2 device with a dual core 1 gigahertz processor with 1 gig of RAM. So um, I'm going to show you. I've seen some questions about how do they install an APK file. So what you do is you actually need to go in, I'll just show you that um, this is actually running uh, Android 3.2.1 as you can see. Um, but in here if you go into uh, applications um, you have to tick this unknown sources one. See how that's ticked? That needs to be ticked before you can install any um, uh, APK files that is not from, um, directly downloaded from the market. So I've done that, I've already installed it and this is the Alpha 4 um, version Android. So um, that's it loaded up there and again you can have multiple um, clients there. The one that I was working on was just called that one. Down here that little red um, that means the remote control. <clears throat> it's red at the moment because um, I actually don't have Media Portal running so it can't um, connect to the remote because Media Portal needs to be running. So, But what I want to show here is that if I select that TV, go over to Electronic Program Guide, um, there it is. So that's actually TV Guide on the the box I was working on. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so if I long press that, it'll come up with these options. I can record it, see the details of the show um, over there. But um, what I actually want to do is go stream, and depending on your um, server, I'm just going to put it down lower so it's um, depending on your server, depending on the quality you'll be able to replay it at. So this server is a slightly old one, it's a P4 3.2 gig with um, 
3 gig of RAM so and I'm running the MX media player the, the free one downloaded so you'll see it uh, there it is that's actually running that's a bit small but with MX I can resize it I can fit to screen so that's fit to screen stretch sorry it's struggling a little bit because I'm playing around with it you can crop 100% so that's live TV you can see that um, I'll scroll back out that's electronic program guide um, recordings it'll obviously it'll play recordings these are this is the Australian Open I recorded uh, probably two weeks a week or two ago sorry I'm just going to turn out the quality again and I'll play it just to show that it works There it is. This is a. Uh, there we go. So that was uh, recorded Australian Open recently. So that's cool. Um, I'll go back. The other thing that you can do from here is if you've obviously, um, I'm just assuming everyone who uses my TV series or TV series, and I've just put on a couple of shows there to show. So there we go. I'll just play it. Again, you can just stream. You have the same options, obviously. Press play. Give it a bit of time. It's, just it's actually buffering and compressing on the fly. So cool. So you have that. So that works. Um, that's TV series, and the other one, the other plugin that works well is if I go to movies, uh, this is moving pictures. So uh, there is still an issue. Well, I have this issue where um, it's not actually picking up the right uh, thumbnail for the movie. But so the name of the movie is actually the right one. The thumbnail is incorrect for some reason. Um, that one's correct. These other ones are not. So one of those things. So stream, play it. Just a demo. There you have it. So again, it's small, but I can uh, fit to screen. So that's it. Streaming um, off the server there. Movies, TV shows, and live streaming. So I uh, hope that helps, and um, feel free to post any questions. Thanks.